All right, what's going on, guys? It's Kid Gore back with another extreme music for extreme people. This will be the last. So let's just get into this. We are going to the T's now. The Mighty Testament, the Legacy. Chuck Billy's one of my favorite metal front man of all time. Such a cool badass guy. Met him many times. Eric Peterson's very underrated guitar player, in my view. I could have picked... Man, I almost wanted to pick The Gathering, Testament The Gathering, or Demonic, because I really like their... a lot of their death metal shit, too. But yeah, this is just a classic... classic thrash. You can do some Funeral Doom with Theragathon. That glare is horrible. But this is one of the... These guys are one of the first... I would say they're, them and Skepticism are pretty much the forefathers of Finnish Funeral Doom, I would say. Such a great fucking album. I love putting this on when there's like thunderstorms and shit. Great fucking atmosphere. Amazing how young they were when they recorded this too. It's just got such a dreadful, dreadful in a good way, not a bad way, atmosphere to it. If you're a fan of Funeral Doom Metal, man, you've got to head Tear Gothon. I think I said their name right, but yeah, that is one badass Funeral Doom record. You got Suter with Desert Northern Hell. Classic Norwegian black metal. I, I just fucking love this album, every song on it. What the hell is that one song that I really like a lot? I got to see us. And there's one, there's one song. I think it might be Mouth of Madness, actually. I think that might be it. I'll know when I hear the riff. Badass black metal. Fucking badass. Suitor. Rest in peace, Eric Wagner. As I said before, we got a trouble. Possum nine. Uh, this shit was so fucking heavy when it came out, man. It just it must have blown people's heads. How fucking it's just from fucking, fucking eighty four. Yeah, eighty four. Wow. It's some heavy ass doom metal, man. Victim of the insane. Unbelievable riffs. Highly recommend this, The Skull. Can't really go wrong with Old Trouble. Hail Eric Wagner. Very much missed. I heard of these guys through, uh, to Fen Fenris of Dark Throne. He was talking about him in an interview, and I checked him out, man. Boy, did I fucking love him. That is uh, Titan Blood. I don't even know if I said that name right, but the old one's called Seven Chalices. I would say if you took Autopsy, Incantation, Doom Metal, and some dirty ass black metal and put it all in a blender, you would get something like this. Like, it's a very, very complex album for listeners, but extremely heavy and riff-oriented. I would recommend Titan Blood, Titan Blood, Seven, Seven Chalices. Amazing fucking, very unique sounding black and death band. Like, I don't know if I would call, if I don't know if I would call them black metal, and I don't know if I even call them death metal. They're just their own entity, man. Very, very unique band. I can see why Fenris champions these guys, for sure. Titan Blood. Fucking badass album. And now we have my favorite, one of my favorite bands of all time coming up here. The Mighty Typo Negative. Slow, Deep, and Hard. It's impossible to pick a typo of them. I love them all for different reasons. 
but uh, yeah, I chose this record. Such an influential, unique album. So unique. Any typo negative, really, like. But this is, you know, Pete coming off of pissed off Carnivore Days into this. And you can totally tell, like, it's still kind of got that Carnivore fuck you type attitude. But they do their own thing with it and add, you know, a lot of synths and goth elements. Which you become known for, you know. The Drab 4, 4 Dicks from Brooklyn. Rest in peace, Peter. Fucking love typo negatives. I had to kind of cheat because, you know, I, I don't know, man. I love World Coming Down, too. It was hard to it was hard to pick a favorite typo, but I like them all, man. But, yeah, World Coming Down, shit. That's a fucking great album, too. One of the most evil black metal bands. The Typhus. There's an old metal magazine called Metal Maniacs that I was a huge fan of back in the day, and they did an interview with the singer, Lord Typhus, and he just seemed like such the a ruthless, evil-ass motherfucker. Talking about, like, wiping his ass with pages from the Bible and shit. And <laughs> it, was an, it was enticing, man, for a youngster at the time, so... Checked him out, I'm glad I... Glad I did, man. They are definitely one of the best... U.S. black metal bands. I don't even know if they're a band anymore. I never hear anything about these guys. Hopefully they are, but this album, Profound Blasphemies, I believe it's called, is just that. Um, Necrophagia was touring for either Divine Art of Torture or Harvest Ritual Volume 1. In the States, they took a Typhus O with them. That would have been badass to see. But yeah, man, Typhus, you're a fan of Extreme, no bullshit, sugar-coated black metal. You'll definitely be dig this shit. Then we got one of my favorite bands of all time here. Trypticon. Tom Warrior Worship, man. Like, oh, worship that dude for the fucking moon and back. He's the riff master. The atmospheric fucking riff master. I fucking love Trypticon. I, I really hope they put out another record. I really do. It's been a long time. But this was their first one. And still their best, I believe. Rest in peace, H.R. Giger. Fucking amazing. Piece of darkness. We have another badass U.S. black metal band. I believe they're from Texas. I don't hear much about these guys anymore either, but this is Thorn Spawn. Blood of the Holy Taint I Steal. I couldn't read that, sorry. Thorn Spawn, badass black metal band from Texas. Originally on Bathomay Records, which was Killjoy's label. Really awesome release. You're definitely a fan of raw black metal. Definitely would recommend Thornspawn and Typhus. <clears throat> uh, we are on, let's see. <clears throat> we are on the used, apparently. Okay, got some unleashed. <laughs> Where no life dwells. Swedish. Death metal. Fucking classic, man. Every sense of the word. Right up there with Entomb, Left Hand Path, and Dismember Like an Ever Flowing Stream. Just Carnage. Unbelievable album. Essential listening Swedish death metal unleashed. Fucking badass. Oh, uh, this is one of Fenrir's of Dark Thrones bands. His Doom band. Valhalla. With Red Planet. This is a really cool band. Uh, Phil, and put, Phil and Selma put this out on his housecore label, as you see. But, uh... Yeah, man, this is a badass, like, pentagram Doom band worship, you know? 
Fenris love of doom metal. You can totally... It's just hard to do with one hand. <laughs> yeah. There he is right there. The man. But yeah, no one ever talks about these guys. They're all Red Planet. If you're a fan of Pentagram, Sabbath worship, you have a little candle mass. Really melodic vocals. Really punishing fucking riffs. You'll dig this. I turned a lot of people onto that band, actually. Oh, fuck. Classic. Goddamn. Boys and girls, this is where black metal began, as far as I'm concerned. Sarcophago and Volcano. You gotta have both of those fucking albums to appreciate the roots of black metal, as far as I'm concerned. Bloody Vengeance. Love it, love it, love it. I would love to find this on fucking vinyl if I could. I would totally upgrade it. And love to upgrade this. Love that. I love that cover. Such blasphemy. Bloody Vengeance, man. Unbelievable album. Kills from song one right to the end. Just slays you. Burns you like a fucking church. No pun intended. Got some classic thrash here from Canada. Rest in peace, Piggy. The Voivod Killing Technology. <clears throat> Tornado, my favorite song. <laughs> but the whole album smokes. Killing Technology by Voivod. I saw these guys at OzFest 2003 when Jason Newstead was in the band. And man, their drummer is just insane live. I don't know if it's the same dude that's on here, maybe. But it was cool seeing and meeting Piggy. He was he was a really cool guy. Really sad when he died. He had so much more to offer for metal. A lot more riffs in him. But killing technology, man. Fucking timeless thrash. They actually have the shirt of this next one. This Void Meditation Cult. In my opinion, one of the most evil sounding fucking bands I've ever heard. If you took Demon C Joined in Darkness album mixed with Beherit Drawing Down the Moon, put those fuckers in a blender, maybe a little bit of uh, Black Witchery as well, you'd get something sound like Void Meditation Cult. They just sound so fucking evil. And this is Utter the Tongue of the Dead. One of my absolute favorite black metal, black and doom metal. I don't even know what the fuck you call this. It's it's its, it's, its own entity, really. Evil, evil fucking music. Some of the most evil shit you'll ever hear. Highly recommend just go out and fucking buy it right now. If you're a fan of extreme music, you will love this. Put it on in the dark with some black candles burning for perfect atmosphere. Void meditation cult. Hail. I believe these guys are from Ohio. I really wish they would uh, release another album. Love Void Meditation Cult. <clears throat> yeah, we have the classic, of course. Venom with black metal. Teacher's Pet. <laughs> Such a classic. Every fucking song on here is just unbelievable. This is an original OG Press 2 that I got uh, Venom Inc. to sign when they opened for Necrophagia in Chicago. They were really cool guys. They didn't really say many nice things about Kronos, but then again, who does? <laughs> Venom Inc. is badass. They don't, they don't gotta prove shit to anyone, man. They can fucking play those Venom songs just as good, if not better, than when they had Kronos, man. Tony's doing a great job. But yeah, such a classic. This this album is so mandatory, you know, I don't even know what to say. It's just... <laughs> Dude's fucking Venom black metal, man.
Okay. <clears throat> That's some vital remains. Let us pray is my favorite album by them. This was back when they were less technical. I mean, they were still technical, but they still had a lot of groove in their shit. Kind of like old Marduk. You know, like, uh, old Marduk kind of had more of a fucking groove to their shit. Now they're just kind of like battle war metal. I guess they're, they kind of go back and forth, but Vital Remains just goes for the fucking kill these days. But this is back when they had a little bit more groovy death metal in their music. And I just love Lotus Prey. Fuck yeah. Badass fucking album. And the last of the V's, we got Viking Crown, Innocence from Hell. There are very few uh, black metal bands that incorporate black metal with horror, horror films, and horror film imagery like these, these guys did. Anton Crowley, of course, you know, that's Philip H. and Samuel, Killjoy, and then you got Opal and Throne on keyboards. Fucking badass band, man. I, I, I like them. I know Phil regards this as a joke project, but it was very serious at the time, and I fucking love it. My favorite album by them. All right, we are going into the W's. Coming up on the end here, we got White Zombie with Astro Creep 2000. Uh, I like Les Extra Cristo, Devil Music Volume 1. That, that's a good album. I heard that at an early age, but man, Astro Creep 2000, I still remember when it came out. I was like in elementary school, and like everyone was just obsessed with White Zombie, I mean, myself as well, and goddamn man, Electric Head, just Creature of the Wheel, I Zombie, Supercharger Heaven, there was just so many great songs on this album. They're crowning achievement in my view. I used to have a huge crush on Sean, I still do. She was gorgeous. I don't know what the hell happened to Jay. Tempesta was in, John Tempesta was in uh, Rob Zombie for a while, but I don't know what he does now. It's kind of unfortunate what all happened, but uh, man, they made some badass music. And you can pretty much hear White Zombie when you see, if you go see Rob Zombie live, he usually plays all those old shit too. But it still would be cool to see that lineup. Lee Dorian. Hail. Members of Electric Wizard and Cathedral joining forces to make a band called With the Dead. I don't know if they're still a band anymore, but man, this album is fucking doom metal personified. Unfucking believable album. Definitely a sense of fucking horror, ghostly atmosphere. If you're a fan of Electric Wizard, early Electric Wizard, and uh, Cathedral, you'll dig this up for sure. And of course, Lee Dorian's vocals are just unmatched. Watane, Rabid Death Curse. One of my favorite Watane albums. Prefer their earlier shit. I do like all of their shit, though. But there's just something about this album. Evil-ass fucking atmosphere. Watane, Rabid Death Curse. <clears throat> little modern doom metal not doom metal stoner metal I don't know witchcraft I don't know if you'd consider this doom metal or stoner metal or just a little bit of both definitely sabbath worship pentagram worship my favorite album by them first got into these guys when I heard Jimmy Bauer talking about them Really badass band. Really, the the way they record too, they bring back that whole Sabbath, like Volume Four paranoid sound. You know, like really fucking old school shit. Love it. 
like they're playing on ancient instruments. Got a little bit of Jethro Tull feel to it too. Amazing musicians. Oh fuck, one of my favorites. Vertilock, Ceremony and Flames. I love all Vertilock, but yeah, Ceremony and Flames, one of my favorites. I love the fucking black metal battle duets between Killjoy and Maniac. Just fucking amazing. Fred Diablo's riffing. This definitely was a black metal supergroup from hell. Love Vertilock. Check them out. Uh, their name was based on the old Boris Karloff movie Black Sabbath. Fucking awesome. And I'm gonna have to cover this because because of boob tube, literally. <laughs> but this is uh, Witchfinder General Death Penalty. That's about as far as I can go. <laughs> but I love uh, I love Witchfinder General. Death Penalty. Friends from Hell is a great album as well. But uh, Death Penalty, man, fuck. That's just... That's just amazing. Whoops! <laughs> but that's uh, an amazing fucking... Timeless fucking album. I love it. Got the CD as well. Just an awesome... <laughs> just an awesome album. Every sense of the word. And this is the last fucking band I have. This has been a pleasure doing these. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, extreme music for extreme people. It's been a fucking blast. But it's come to an end, and this is my last band. We got Disaster, Telepathic Link with the Deceased. Definitely a band that I'd like to listen to if I ever feel like crawling under my bed and dying. Slitting my wrists in the dark, you know, let it bleed out, listening to this shit, or Leviathan. Depressive black metal, it's finest, I love it. There's just some kind of feeling you get when you hear Zaster's music. It just, I don't know, I can't compare it to any other fucking band, it just hits you. Just hits you, man. Unfucking believable. So I believe that was be it for extreme music for extreme people. Um, hope you all enjoyed these series. It was a lot of it was a blast to do. I had a lot of fun. Uh, whether you watched or you didn't give a shit, I that's fine. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to getting back into horror again, horror movies. Uh, I'm coming up on the the letter E, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Got a lot of cool horror films to start with the letter E, so I'm looking forward to that in the future. <clears throat> um, might do some more uh, music joins of uh, Sonic Excess. Might do some more of those. Those are fun to do. But yeah, you know, I'll see you when I see you. And thank you for watching and subscribing as always. I always appreciate it. If you like it, great. If not, that's fucking fine too. I don't give a shit. But uh, thank you all very much, man. Skid Gore. Stay metal.